I don't take the trash out without my lipstick, okay? <laughs> I gotta have my makeup on just to take the trash out. No, I mean, you know, I'm just like, you know, I guess I'm kind of would be considered a girly girl. I mean, I, I, I always like my makeup and my hair and the nails and all of that. But, you know, I really feel like we're special. Just to have the strength to stand in our truth against so many different odds really makes us special. And, you know, when you think about cultures around the world and, like, how different cultures look at transgenderism in different ways, I mean, Thailand, um, uh, Fiji, uh, the Fahafafinas, and uh, the Hisras in India, uh, you know, there are cultures that have really... Uh, looked at us as special, you know, as us being a gift. And I think it's relative to really how you look at something. Yeah, you could either look at a glass half empty or a glass half full. Exactly, you know, exactly, and, yeah. You know, they, the tide got turned around when, um, I guess, the Europeans came in and they actually destroyed our abilities by putting us in their box. In the and, box, yeah. in that box. Because, you know, I could... Someone could look at me and look at me as like a freak of nature, look at me in a deviant type of way that I, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, something bad. But then you could also look at me as, wow, that person has the essence of male and female together. You know, that person has a male and female perspective, can look at things from both perspectives, that that's a gift. You know, and so it really is all relative to how you look at things. And I think we all as human beings can use that in the sense of before you judge something, really, really take a good look at it and try to look at the different angles and how maybe that very thing that you're judging in a negative way could really truly be a blessing. And I believe that it's the way of the universe speaking and has created many of us and can help this earth and the people in it create balance because right now they're out of balance Ooh! oh my god you know I, I, it's funny and, and and people i'm sure there's a lot of people who want to put me on up on a cross and crucify me for this but i think a lot like i i really think about our existence here on the planet and and i just i do that a lot and i said to myself one day i said oh my god we are like population buffers because and I'm, I'm, I'm really going to go a little deep here. When you think of like, what, almost 8, eight billion people on the planet now? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a lot of people. And really, everyone doesn't need to be procreating. <laughs> um, and, you know, people say, oh, well, you must go forth and procreate. But you know what? Donkeys... Mules, mules, they were infertile, they couldn't, they couldn't, but they were very productive. So therefore you can live on the planet and be productive and not have to procreate. And so I, I, I thought about this and I, I really went deep with it and I said, wow, if, so, if a guy is with me, I'm not going to get pregnant. Okay, like if we get together and we have sex, I'm not going to get pregnant. So therefore, there won't be a baby that comes from our our um, intimacy. Uh, but it's all timing. Timing is everything. So let's say um, over the years, right, nature has always found a way to mutate itself and balance. Life is a balancing act. Evolution. Yeah, evolution. Yeah, evolution. So we, that's why transgender people are born. Gay people are born, lesbian people, because it's all a balancing act that God has. Yeah. Energy, so we need a little bit more of that yes. energy. And, you know, just creating balance. And I think you all should really listen to that. Do you hear me? All the Republicans out there, the far, far right, that, that, that don't respect me as a human being. No, let me stop.